Today we're setting up a brand new apiary. Hello, I'm Griff Reese, welcome to Winning Griffith. Here we talk everything, beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now I'm just up the top yard here, where we keep the big bales. Now I'm just loading up the trailer. I've got some blocks that I'm gonna use as the bottoms for the hive stand. And we're just gonna load this trailer up now with the stands itself. Now it's a wet old early March day. And it's about time I set this apiary up because it's been on the go for a while um, and time is fast approaching I need to get these new sites populated with bees get some nukes down there probably 15 14 something like that in one go um, I may do that tomorrow get that site up and running and then come start May end of April see how those nukes are getting on and maybe get them into full size hives so if this is your first time watching the channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you're notified of when new videos are uploaded. Right, let's get the stands on. Right, that's that loaded. So we've got the bricks, we've got the hive sand itself. This one is out of new wood, so is that. I've got two four by twos then, which I don't really like having high stands that are four by twos. I prefer the six by twos, but the price of timber now is gone clean off. So any kind of decent timber I've got second hand, I am gonna use them, painted it up. And this wood here, the 4 by 2s actually came off one of the sheds on the farm which we re-roofed last year, so that's not going to waste. Um, just going to try and save where you can with the economy as it is. Right, trusty old wheelbarrow, which has seen better days. But it's not broken and I don't throw anything that's not broken, so it's been used until it is broken. So that's why that's there. And that's it, and it goes to show, if you're bee farming, if you remember the video I posted a couple of weeks ago, how to start bee farming, click by there, the link by there to watch that video, how important it is to have a 4x4 truck. So I've got my L200 there, and I've got a 14, uh, sorry, 12 foot trailer on the back, and you know, we're only setting up uh, a small apiary, enough to take 14 hives at the minute. You know, look how much stuff you need to carry all the time and over, you know, treacherous terrain. You just can't do this job if you've only got a car. So let's go, let's see the new site. Well, here we are. If you notice the high vis, I've got to wear a high vis on this site. So I'm not exactly going to tell you where I am in this video. That's going to be revealed later on. But look at this site. You could swear that I'm at the nature reserve. Now, the kind people here have put this little bridge in for me so I can cross this little stream. So I'll get my wheelbarrow, petrol wheelbarrow across there quite easy. And this is the first site that I've got that I'm keeping bees. <coughs> Where it's actually by the water. The last time I came down here, there was geese, there was ducks, there's all kinds of wildlife in here. I'm actually going to keep my bees in this wooded area here. So just amongst these oak trees in the bramble, I'm going to create a little bit of a clearing in there. Now, not too much. I want to keep it as raw and wild as I possibly can. And I'm going to keep them roughly here. This is the area. We're going to have about 14 hives in this area. It's going to be safe enough. People working, 
cutting the grass around the lake, around the lagoon, around all the different points here that the people are working on. The bees are going to be well away amongst the brambles and the oak trees here, and that's going to be great. So we're going to have bees pollinating the area there. I mean, from the nature of this site, you will not believe where I am when I tell you. You will not believe where I am by looking at the beauty down here. You would not believe it. And there's huge amounts of land here, which is just totally wild. As wild as it actually can be in Wales, really. Um, there's no farming, the, the land is kept like this for a reason. So the wildlife benefits hugely from it. But yeah, I mean, look at this. How lucky am I to get this site? And the company that operates this site, we're in very, very good uh, partnership together. We do a bit together already. And I mean, to get this kind of access and the effort they've done to get bees on this site is amazing to see. And uh, it just goes to show what other companies uh, can and should do to promote beekeeping help the farming industry because beekeeping is farming industry and help small businesses as well i mean that's just absolutely great so i'm gonna crack on now start lugging the bricks across the site is quite level so hopefully i don't need to dig anything level it'll be quite level and an hour or so and i'll be done well that's it that's me finished here yeah? Trailer loaded back up, wheelbarrow tied down, and to show you what I've done here and the way I've set it out and why I've gone with this pattern. Look at that. Stunning. So it's just a short walk there from the bridge, been the summer. I can bring the pick up in here, just didn't want to do that today, it is a bit wet. And I've set the stands up like that, so it's a bit of a, a zigzag pattern again. Up on bricks, stands are nice and level. Two brick that side, one brick that side, get the level, and I've got two bricks on the four by twos. So the hives are gonna be pointing this way into the hedge, forcing the bees to go up so there is no low flying bees across the site at all, keeping everything safe. This bramble boundary, what we can see between the grass is gonna be kept like that. This bramble will probably be twice the height in the summer, spring and summer, so it's going to be an extra uh, boundary protection for the bees, making this site even safer again. Because you've got to think all this stuff through, you've got to do a risk assessment, you've got to work out if people are working here or people are in the proximity of your bees, how can you make it as safe as possible? And this is kind of a perfect example of how to do it. The bees are far enough away from the pickup and the big yard there where people will be parking their trucks, etc. working. They're going to be well away. Chances are, once this bramble starts growing, you're not even going to be able to see the bees unless they've got lots of supers on, which I'm hoping. Hoping to pull some honey from this site. No reason for this site not to be a big productive site. But yeah, look at that. Perfect. Got the grass. We've got the bramble. And then right behind there, we've got the bees. Plenty of shelter and shade from the big wind is not going to be a problem for these bees down here. And I think they're really going to enjoy it. Now, very, very appreciated. I know I said this before, but I'm very, very much appreciated of offering this site for me to keep some bees on. Good for small businesses, good for farming, good for the environment. What's not to like about having bees on a site? And it's not just this site benefiting from these bees being here. These bees will fly three miles. That's the forage area. So everybody within three miles of this location can benefit from increased pollination if they grow any kind of crop, whether that's apple trees in the garden, a veg plot, or a local farmer growing any kind of crop, which 
I doubt it in this area. I don't think there's any kind of arable farming, but nonetheless, pollination on the clover in the field, on the grass fields, that's going to benefit every farmer, be it grass or arable. So these bees are not just helping this site, they're helping the local area as well. Well, that's it for this video. Just a quick one today. We've set that site up now and hopefully, maybe the next video, we'll film us actually populating this site up with some bees and get these bees ready to go for the full season. So they'll have the full season here. We'll start the March, hopefully in three, well, two to three weeks, things will start warming up. By the time we get into middle April, the season uh, will have gone on the way. So hopefully it's not a repeat from last year where things were really, really slow starting off with the spring being so cold. Fingers crossed we better get a better one this time round. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.